Hey there, welcome to part two of the how to start your blog series. And today I'm going to be talking to you all about how to pick the right blogging host as well as domain and showing you step by step how you can do the same. So let's get started. If you haven't watched part one of this series where I walk you through how to pick the best blogging niche for your blog and the step by step strategy for you to do the same, I'm going to link that video also in the description box as well as somewhere in the video it's going to be linked. So make sure to check that out next or go and watch it first and then come back and watch this video. Okay, so first let's talk about what exactly is a domain and why do you even need one? So a domain is simply the digital address of your blog, which is basically going to be how people are going to find your blog. So for example, one of my blogs is digitalempires.co. So that is essentially the domain of my blog and the name of my blog is Digital Empires. So when you're picking out a domain, you want to be making sure that as far as possible, you're picking a .com domain or a .country domain. So for example, if you're based in France, it could be .fr. If you're based in Germany, it could be .da, depending on which language you're going to plan to write your blog in. If you plan to write in English, the safest way to pick a domain is always to go with a .com domain. Next, let's talk about what exactly is a host and why do you need one. So once you've bought your domain name, essentially you have the digital address which you have purchased from a particular registrar. So this could be Namecheap, this could be GoDaddy, or this could be any of the hosting accounts. Specifically, the one that I'm going to talk about today is going to be HostGator. You're going to need step to a host where your domain can actually live on or let's say where it can be parked. So you're going to rent out a space in in the internet where you're going to basically park your domain. This is how people are going to be able to access your website because it's going to be hosted somewhere. So for example, when I'm using YouTube and you're watching this video, this video is being hosted on YouTube and YouTube is using all of the server space and all the backend stuff to make this video possible right now. And so you're able to access it. Similarly, when you purchase a host, the host is where you are going to store your domain and all of the content and information that is going to go in your blog is going to be accessible via this host. So my personal favorite specifically for beginners is HostGator, not only because it's one of the cheapest options possible, but it's also super reliable and the customer service is fantastic. And they also have a crazy offer right now, which is when you buy a hosting plan from them, they actually give you a completely free domain. So the link for you to access this offer is going to be in the description box below. And when you click on that, you're going to be led to different options that you can purchase this hosting plan with. So let's head on to my computer and see how that can be done. Okay, so when you click on the link below this video to get 60% off your hosting, you are going to come to this page, which is going to be the landing page in HostGator. And as you can see, they have three different plans. There's the Hatchling plan, which is the cheapest, and it actually works out at less than $3 a month. There's a baby plan, which is if you need a couple of more features and there's a business plan. Now, if you're just starting out with your blog, I highly recommend choosing the single cheapest plan option, the single domain option, because you're ideally going to only have one domain registered with this plan. And that's literally all you need. It's also one of the cheapest hosts I've found on the internet, which give you really good quality and as well as good customer service as well. So some of the other things that you will need is you'll get is you're going to get a 45 day money back guarantee. You're going to have easy access for the admin from your C panel here. You're going to get a website builder templates, and you're also going to get offered, for example, WordPress, you know, which we're going to cover in the next part of this series. Um, so keep, you know, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you want to have a look at that as well. And you're also going to get a couple of different, you know, coupons for things. So let's move on to this and see what happens when we click on buy now. So when you head to buy now, you're going to see that the discount code, which is through my link is already applied. And what's amazing here is that right now for a limited time, you get a free one year domain registration on, on annual plans, right? So this is something that you absolutely want to take HostGator up on because when you go to register your domain, usually you have to pay around a hundred dollars for the first year. And then you have an annual, you know, renewal fees every single year for the domain. So if you can get a free domain for the first year, why the heck not? Uh, and this is where you're going to type in your domain and search if it's available or not. So let's say that you're typing for dog training EU people. I'm going to type in a random domain just to see if it's available or not, because, you know, if I type in a very common domain, it's probably not going to be available. And obviously you want to make sure that your domain is available. So as you can see, this is available dog training EU people. Uh, again, a random example. If you haven't checked my first video in this series, uh, go ahead and check that. That is where I give the example of dog training as a niche. So you can see this is free for one year with an annual plan. And as you scroll down, you can basically add and subtract things that you don't want. So let's say you don't want domain privacy. You can remove that. That's again, additional $15 per year, which means that you will have private information. And when 
then you basically select the hatchling plan you know which is the cheapest land that we found you can then again you can have it for one month you can have it for six months you can have it for 12 months i would recommend going for a minimum of 12 months if not 36 just because the higher up you go the more discount you get right so it, it gets cheaper for you to have it for longer and trust you me when you are creating an account you are going to notice that bill coming in every single year so if possible go for the 36 month plan because there you can actually have it for 2.7 dollars a month if you go for the 12 month plan then it's going to be around 3.9 dollars a month which really is the cost of like one cappuccino every single month um maybe even cheaper or cheaper than that depending on where you live so next you have to just fill out your details that you want to you know have to your account you're going to fill out your payment details as well and you're going to see if you need any additional services as well so you can you know basically opt for an SSL certificate, a site log essential, professional email, all these extra things. Ideally, you don't actually need them right at the beginning, except for the SSL certificate, which is something that, you know, is is something that signifies security of the site, but you actually already get a free SSL certificate, so you don't need this additional warranty thing, so you can skip all of this. The coupon code, as you can see, is already here. So as you can see, when you select the 12 month plan, you get a discount of $78 using my link and you actually just pay about $49 for a free you know domain as well as one year of hosting and when you go to the 36 month option you can see that you will obviously get a bigger discount so when you go to the 36 month option which is three years I would highly recommend going with that option because you know you're probably going to be blogging for a couple of years anyway and that's again where you can get basically $170 off so you save a lot of money with my with my link but not only this you actually end up paying just $103 for three years worth of hosting as well as a free domain and this is an offer that you know you don't get when you check out other uh, competitors because they're much more pricier and they also don't give you a free domain and the domain itself is, is you know going to cost you at least 50 to 100 dollars minimum even if you get you know a super cheap domain somewhere it usually costs about 100 dollars for the first year so you actually save that money and you get hosting for three years and once you get on the checkout page that is when you will be led to your hosting back end and that's where you'll be able to install wordpress and and basically start blogging with your website okay so once you've bought your hosting plan the next step really is to make sure that all is good and your site is actually live and one of the ways with which you can start creating content and creating blog posts is is by installing WordPress. So we're gonna talk all about WordPress and creating a blog post on WordPress in the next part of this series, which is gonna come out next week. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified of the series when it comes out. If you're serious about starting a blog that becomes your full-time business in the shortest amount of time possible, then I would encourage you to check out my free blogging masterclass, which is gonna be linked in the description box below. It is a one hour free training where I walk you through the three strategies of becoming a profitable blogger. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.